So, end of another week, another video. Uh, bit of a workshop one. We're gonna have a, a go at something on Smurf. Not gonna be able to see if it's successful because, well, the battery's very dead. So I don't know. I don't know whether I can save this battery. I've got the old battery. I don't know whether I can do anything with that battery. But one thing I would like to do is regarding the starter. The starter's a bit lazy. It's not great. So what I'm kind of thinking, we're going to take it off, get on the workbench, strip her down, clean her all up, bang her back on, and hopefully uh, get away with that. Uh, well, get away without buying a new one for a little bit longer. So, that's the plan. Let's see how we go. Right, so, first job. See what we've got on the battery. Cold cranking amps. Three hundred amps. Okay. Exit. Percentage. Check in. Check in. Zero percent, but five point three volts, <laughs> which is a lot better than what's on there. I think the battery actually on Smurf is something like one point two volts. So this might be salvageable go into the battery right I think that's what we want maintenance auto so that's basically in a repair mode now so that I'll recondition the battery to the point that she should be fit to go. So leave that magic box of tricks to do its thing and hopefully that's saved me probably about 150 odd quid for a new battery. Uh, okay, so now we're gonna pull the starter. So rather stupidly, I've come out without my bag which means I've come out without any, uh... <clears throat> it'll come to me in a minute. Tripods or anything. So, luckily that looks like it's gonna sit there okay. So, start pulling this, oof. Oh shit. Power and lead. Come on. Oh. Christ, that's tight. Power out lead. Right. Okay, it's a good starting point. No 13. No, bigger. Bigger than 17? No, smaller.
That feels okay. Didn't want to do that. Shoo. I think these are actually, hang on, let me go find some weird sockets. So I'll open them right on this. Um, basically because Smurf, well Smurf's an old tractor anyway, you know, she's 1991. Um, but the lineage for her is actually, goes back a hell of a lot, lot longer. Um, meaning, like all, a lot of her bolts will be imperial rather than metric. So, I have to go digging around in me spare sockets to try and find uh, a 9 16th, which is close to a 14. I'm not really in the mood for rounding bolts off. Whatever did we do before we had cordless impact guns? Well, this one's going to be. We always do this, put one somewhere really awkward. I'm actually going to use it because I could do with a bit of light here. There we go. And that's going to have to be a shock. I ain't going to get my impact into there. Can you see what I'm looking at? Uh, yeah, just about. and get me a bloody ratchet on it then. Why do they always have to put one in stupid place? Okay, is that just going to sit there all right? Yeah, it is. Right, so I'm going to shut this off while I wrestle this out, and then we can pick it back up on the workbench. Assuming I can find somewhere to put you on the workbench. I thought you might like to have a little bit of a delve with me, just make sure everything's all right. So, that's where the start motor sits. And obviously, that there, that piece there, is the flywheel. And then, on the back of that is, on the back of it, yeah, it is the back of it, that's the back of the engine, that's the back of the, is the ring gear, which uh, the start motor engages in. And actually, I've got to say, for a 10,000 hour tractor, that's in actually pretty nice condition. I'll look at the dog on there. <sighs> yeah, and the dog on there again. That's all in pretty nice condition. So yeah, plan is, I'm gonna give this full strip down, clean up, and make it as good as new. Or at least very good second hand. So, you join me on the workbench. Now, everyone with start motors thinks that you know, they've, they've got to be taken away to be serviced properly, but anybody with half decent 
bit of mechanical knowledge, can pull these apart and put them back together. I mean, there are things on them that, you know, you, you probably need to be professional to know what you're doing, but the general gist of them, it's just nuts and bolts. So, make a start. First, I'm going to just pull that wire off the back of the solenoid. So the one thing I would say if you do if you tackle it is it's all about being clear. I know that looks absolutely disgusting, but there's actually no dust or crap on it. So lay that out and that's what I'm gonna lay all the all the parts on as they come off. Keep everything sort of relatively well laid, laid out. That's going to be a bit of a bugger to get off. So I think we're going to pull that cap off next. Because that'll be a bearing guy there. Good little set this. Um, so it's... Sagan, which is part of Sealy Tools, it is just a handy little set for having knocking around. Ooh, I'm going to have to move my bin and my toolbox. To, I'm gonna have to move that crap. It's it's starting to actually do me head in now. I didn't think it was gonna take very long. Right up. Here's the back of it. Ooh. It's a bit different than the last one I did. So we look put that together like that. So when I come back to get put it back together, I can see how it's supposed to go in. Then what that's all about. We don't need to come off. That's just annoying. Right. I don't think I see what all this end cap on. Can't be just that. That's not doing anything. See, this is a funny thing. The great way a... Well, I would say this might... Well, no, it's black, so it's... Yes, definitely don't think it's... The original starter motor, um, like the starter motor is all metric, but the bolts that hold the starter motor on are imperial. Hey ho! Right, it's not seeing. They usually have long bolts that hold the. Start motor in because usually, like, um, yeah, see, there's one. 
Oh, we missed him one. Ooh. I don't really want to separate it just there. Okay. Put down in there. Yeah, I... Whoops. Holding the end cap on. So I want to take the end cap off and then the barrel off. It's all come off in one piece. <laughs> but it all looks in relatively good order. one thing I wasn't aware of I was right when I said they usually have two that holds it on this at some point has been snapped off which is going to cause a bit of a pain in the butt because I don't know where the hell I'm going to get one of them from whoops Okay. So they've got like a bit of a focus. A nub on the end so they can't go well, out. They can't be pulled through there, basically. Right, we're gonna, we're gonna go find want a mallet rather than a hammer. Ideally. So we can knock that end cap off. Is it worth look in there? See that? That should come out of the Oh, it won't come out of there because that's holding on. Right, okay. Right, so this is causing a bit of a headache. Um, right. So, that's basically the two, one of the two uh, studs that should hold it together. You see that one's missing the end, but I would say, looking at that, somebody's tried attacking that with a drill or something <sighs> the end's all quite not great but that's well stuck into there but you can't take that plate there that'll show you into this part of it make sure everything's all right in there until that is out You know when you start a job and you just wish you'd left it alone? <laughs> yeah, we're having one of them moments. Right, okay. Oh, I did get the end cap off. Um, yeah, that's going to be loads of fun too, because in the end here, we have four bushes. Probably see, clear it in there, do that and do that. Obviously, they've all pinged out. Now ideally you'd slide that on and then sort of get that all in place and slide that over there onto there. But there's no way of getting that off because it's attached with the wires. So that that's going to be a load of fiddly fun to try and get that back all together. But I mean the bushes themselves, there's a good little bit good bit of meat left on there, so there's nothing wrong with them. <sighs> so as usual, things have escalated pretty quickly. Uh the solenoid's off. That kind of popped its own way off. That could just be a nightmare to get back on. <sighs> Cause that's basically we've got to try and push. 
that spring back to get it back over that tab and get all that back in but I think we've pulled it apart as much as we need to we need to sort that which is very annoying quick bit of a clean down nothing too strenuous there so this is more More sort of bronze bushes rather than rather than most of the ones I've pulled apart. Like like severe, you'd have had a bearing rather than rather than a bush. That's fine. So I think we're going to give this a bit of a clean up and uh, probably a reassemble. Uh, so there's a, a bush in the end there that looks fine but that's where what either end's floating on <coughs> there's no dramas there so we'll have a bit of a cleaning session now i think so we've made a start and clean it up um again it's sort of back together we'll just pull it all apart again so we've cleaned all up in there might just put a little bit no no be all right with there so cleaned it all up a bit of fresh grease on there so now that seats back in there that is going to be a little bit of a swine so now we need to put the we'll put the bolt back in there that get that back sort of something like right hopefully uh, so that was that one you want me in with this <laughs> How to make things complicated. So, like I said, Imperial to take it off. Metric, including metric star drives. So, this is going to be a fiddly little swine, I think, to get back in. Yeah, I'm going to want all the fingers for this one. You have to bear with me. So, that's that one nice and clean now. Nice finish on there. That is still an issue. That is being a very big issue. I don't want to put it back together with just the one on. I really don't. Come this far, out of have it in bits. It wants being right. Uh, try with a set of pliers. That ain't moving it. Um... Have a plan. Probably not going to work, but I've got a plan. Right, so plunger back in. I know you'd have probably liked to see how that was done, but that that was a bit of an ass. Not going to lie. So that way. Let me just get the first one lined up. All right. Just a minute. Bit. Make sure this. Pulls in nice and easy. Well, easy, evenly. That's the word I'm looking for. Oop. It's not enough for more pay. Come on, play the game. Last one. Oh, 
Okay. So that's all back together. That vice needs tightening down. That's gone a bit loose. Uh, so what do I do about this pigging thing? Hmm. Permission to say cuck. Hmm. That charge is still doing its thing. Not actually heard it do anything. Whatever it's doing, it's got warm doing it. Leave it on that. Not fiddle with it. One chance to get the battery hopefully back. So, despite much searching around and trying to head scratch, <clears throat> there's nothing I can do today to sort this out. Um, I'm going to take that off there and do a bit of room. Take that with me, see if I can find one from somewhere. But I am going to put the rest of it all back together. The chances are what fine won't be that exact. It's going to end up be just probably a, a plain threaded piece of bar. So, should be able to wind it in and then sort it that way. Kind of annoying. So, I'm going to put the rest of it back together. So, basically, it all stays clean. And the other thing that I don't want happening is being all exposed. If I don't get back to it for a while and we end up rain and God knows what else and it gets damp in here, it's pretty much going to undo all the hard work. So, hey, oh, it's doing something. I don't know what it's doing, but it's doing something. So on the plus side, it looks like that battery's going to come back to life. That's what I bought that thing for. And I've got another one underneath there, which will be for her. So hopefully we can get that one back to life as well. And Because I'm tempted to bite the bullet with her and have a word with a friend and see if I can get a friend to get her back to where she needs to be. Because... I'm not getting anywhere with her, am I? And it's kind of annoying me a sitting there. So, <clears throat> get this all back together. This is going to be a nightmare. This bit's not. This bit's going to be nice and easy. Um, hang on. First, like that. Back in. There. Squeaky up. That should be nice and tight now. That will hold that in there and that in there and that should just all work. <sighs> Next job. Just a bit of a clean up first, hang on. Okay. <laughs> so, as I said earlier in the video, why is that not set right somehow? What's going on with that now? Have I bent something? I don't think so. So, as I said, there are... Oh, no. <laughs> right, well, I'll show you the theory at least. There are four carbon bushes in there that are, as you can see, spring-loaded. And they actually pop out if they haven't got the rest against. So my theory is cable tie them back to hold them back so I can slide that whole unit onto here so that them bushes will sit on this copper here. One thing I've noticed as I've lifted this up is that that is the spring for that brush. On the plus side I found it now and not when I put it all back together because that really would have been a little bit upsetting. So, 
I'll uh, readjust that one and get back to you. As it turned out, I screwed up two of them. That one, I haven't put the spring in. And this one here, instead of pushing it back, I'd sort of wedged it so it was pretty much all the way out. But, that looks like I might be onto something. Okay. So, that, that's wrong, can't see what I'm doing, so that, on there, that needs to sit on there, I don't know what that's been rubbing against, so, See the theory with this now. Keeps them brushes in. So that's as far as I can push the brushes. So now Strings, strings, cable ties, which release the brushes back onto the, I think it's called a stator. Joyce being self-learned mechanic. I kind of know how to do things, but I don't know what a single thing's called. Great when you go into parts, in for parts, and you say, oh, I'm after that thing, you know, that attaches to it. It attaches to that thing. What's that thing called? I don't know. Right. Three for three. Four for four. So. That can all be pushed home now. Okay. Obviously, there's no, I can't put this back on the tractor because, um, well, could I put it back on the tractor? Um, depends on how it goes. Because uh, I don't want to clean. So just been cleaning with this stuff, uh, GT85. PTFE, it's basically another version of the age old fancy WD-40. Nothing special, nothing fancy, cheap in the can. Um, so that went on there. And that went on there, like that, get that rubber grommet in the right place. Uh, just need a bit of a gentle tappy tap tap with a hammer. Now, oh, I actually don't know what's been going on for the last few minutes because. I'm sure I've been hitting record, and I'm sure it hasn't been recorded. Um, I'm too busy trying to crack on to actually figure out what it has and hasn't recorded. But, we're getting somewhere. I have said several times, and I'm not sure whether it's turned off every time, about this, this isn't the channel for the high level of videography you expect elsewhere um why doesn't that look right there we go i'm really hopeful for that battery you know i think there might actually be a chance 
it may actually live. I don't like that gap round there. I can't remember if I had it in the first place. I can't test it either. I think I'm going to leave that on the workbench, you know, purely because I should have put the stud in there, which was the inside edge against the engine block, and I stuck it in there, which is the outside edge away from the engine block. So it, it's, yeah. Um, unfortunately, that is as far as we can go with this until I can get one of these. I need to get that knocked off. That's what I do need to do. And when I knock it off, I need to also make sure, sure I don't lose it. Which I probably will. Right, two-handed job this, I'm afraid. Got it. Won't focus on it. Oh, there we go. Well, the end of it's missing anyway, we know that. Uh. So, that needs going in the van and needs going around to see if I can find a piece of threaded bar from somewhere that will substitute it. Um, so I'm afraid uh, that's it. Kind of annoying. I know. Was hoping that we'd have got it all nice and back together, and it'd be be a little job done. But uh, looks like it's a little half job done. Same as the battery. Yeah, it's looking hopeful. But again, I'm gonna have to walk away, and it's gonna be an half one. Um, I will try and remember, and I will, I will genuinely try to pick this up and put it into next week's videos. So. You can see if I had any success or whether I've turned myself into a nervous gibbering wreck. Oh! <sighs> he fell over. <sighs> Might have made a good video, but uh, not maybe great for my health. So, yeah, that's, that's really as far as we can go with this. I've probably got a bit few edges that... To, could do with trimming i know it's not hedge cutting season but there is areas where you can be allowed to trim for the purposes of health and safety but there's a couple of little bits that need doing so uh, get them done there's also an access point that needs trimming out in order to be able to gain access to a site so there's a little bit to do in between all the harvest work if it ever comes kicks off so we're going to call that it for this one i think so as always don't forget to give the video a grubby thumbs up if you have enjoyed it and don't forget to hit that uh, subscribe button if you haven't that way you get to see e notifications when the videos come up which should be half six on a sunday night uk time um Hopefully we'll get some interesting videos. I should have I should have videoed some this week. We've had some really good stuff going on. Um, good big he uh, whole crop job, um, silage and job where I've been on the four out rake, and the views up there are just magnificent. Yeah, they are just yeah. But anyway, I didn't should have would have cut her in it. So um, that's it. As always. Stay safe, stay well. Don't forget to look after yourselves and don't forget to look after each other in instead. Look after people. You know you know what I mean. Yeah, I'm gonna do some edge scratching and probably beat my head against a brick wall trying to get that thing sorted out. 
not that thing, that thing. So, yeah, we'll catch up next week. <laughs>